Hello Righteous, welcome to day 166 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 12 verse 26, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. We see in the life of the people who believe in God all over the scriptures, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, David, Daniel, the list goes on and on. I said people who believe in God because the righteous are the people who believe in God. The people who believe and receive God's way of making people right with himself. We see the scripture in true in the lives of God's people. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Now we'll read scriptures to substantiate this point in a moment. But before we do that, it's important to note that the righteous being more excellent than their neighbors, it's not just for them to bloat or, or to gloat over them, but it's in such a way that their neighbors look up to them. Hallelujah. Let's look at the text in other versions. Proverbs 12 verse 26 in the English Standard Version. One who is righteous is a guide to his neighbor, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. In the New Living Translation, the godly give good advice to their friends. The wicked lead them astray. In the Amplified Bible Classic Edition, the consistently righteous man is a guide to his neighbor, but the way of the wicked causes others to go astray. Now, let's get back to reading some scriptures regarding some of the people, some of the righteous people who were more excellent than their neighbors in very obvious ways in the scriptures. In Genesis 26, Isaac prospered so much that it says in verse 14 that the Philistines envied him. In verse 16, they told him, go away from us, for you are much mightier than we. However, the leader came to beg him to make a covenant with them because they have certainly seen that the Lord was with him. Isaac stood out clearly in his generation. Another great example is Daniel. Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Now, hear what the queen mother said about Daniel when King Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, when he saw a hand writing on the wall and he became scared to death. And none of his wise enchanters, astrologers and fortune tellers could tell what was on the wall. Let's read Daniel chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. There is a man in your kingdom who has within him the spirit of of the holy gods. During Nebuchadnezzar's reign, this man was found to have insight, understanding, and wisdom like that of the gods. Your predecessor, the king, your predecessor, King Nebuchadnezzar, made him chief over all the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and fortune tellers of Babylon. This man, Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar has exceptional ability and is filled with divine knowledge and understanding. He can interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve difficult problems. Call for Daniel and he will tell you what the writing means. Now, Daniel was an advisor to various kings during the 70 years of the Jewish captivity in Babylon. Hallelujah. Joseph is another example. Pharaoh had a dream no one could interpret, including all his wise men and magicians. But Joseph did came out from prison and interpreted that dream and went beyond that to provide a solution for Egypt. And in Genesis 41 verses 39 to 41, then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. You shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Hallelujah.
Concerning Jesus in Psalms 45 verse 7, it says, You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Praise God. There are many more to talk about, but we'll stop here today because of our time. What we've talked about is not an exclusive experience for a few, but for every righteous person. Yes, every righteous person, even you. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, and the neighbors, including nations, should look up to us for advice because of the Spirit of God which is in us. The Spirit of God in us is the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. That is what it says in Isaiah 11, verse 2. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank you for joining me on today's 365 Days of the Righteous. Enjoy your blessed life.